Hello, my name is Paige Byrne, and I am sharing how I use Padlet for e-learning courses. This first course is Watercolor Landscapes, and the platform Padlet easily allows you to add little posts for the dates, the materials, and then each lesson with directions, and then also links. The Watercolor Landscape course um, introduces technique. So the, that's the, what the first lesson is, is using um, these little swatches to discover the potential of watercolors um, using salt or scraffito, masking, colored pencil. Um, and then each session is about five lessons. So the first one, I can see where the student is and then where the strengths and then where there's room for growth. So by the lesson two, I saw immediate progress in providing this reference and then also a YouTube link um, that points out what they learned in lesson one, where they could apply that in lesson two. Then we also have opportunity, I think it's important to connect the student to where they are, where they're from, where they'd like to go. So those landscapes are all based around that, um, what they are close to, and then also what they're interested in. So learning that this particular student wanted to learn more about tints and shades and finishing off the course in that way. The next course I think wanted to share was on portfolios using contemporary portfolios or sorry contemporary portraits um, and allowing the student to develop their self-expression so here I have a picture of the materials I found that that was really helpful in teaching an online course you know listing watercolor and listing watercolor pencil is one thing, but actually seeing the product is really helpful. So being able to post that um, and setting up an agenda to show the diversity of, of people and the different ways that you can express portraiture I love, including links about the artist. So here I have one um, with a link directly to Amy Sherald's, uh, she's up in Baltimore, directly to her website. So um, using traditional um, foundations and teaching portraiture with the grids, but always leaving room, leaving room for self-expression. Towards the end of this, this was over a course of a year, the student expressed interest in learning more how to draw hands and feet more realistically. And I think that that's important too, when the student is investing in an e-learning course, um, what would they specifically like to learn? So this last one I designed um, was all about drawing uh, face and hands. And I've been showing you on a timeline, but it's easy to uh, change the format of the course to view. So rather I have just, I'll switch it. I have it on right now, a wall or a canvas where all the little posts are laid out. You can put it on a timeline so it's um, easier to see. But when the student starts the course, they're always starting out with um, usually a wall or the canvas. So there's just one or two things. And then as the course grows, then it starts to build. And I've just got it organized for viewing purposes on a timeline um, here. But I love it. It's really surprised me in how much, um, how much you can do with online learning and then how much um, a student at any age can invest and get exactly what they want out of the course. Thank you for watching.